you know need any information about mm -hmm. plastic surgeries, you can contact with Lily, and probably we're just like first session, like second first session, session, or like more sessions. Mm -hmm. Just like don't recommend the patients. So after making the consultation, she decides what is there any limit? Probably your skin gets more sad, more sad. The so another question is about, right, because you mentioned after the patient has had a bariatric treatment, mm -hmm. maybe within six months, the patient yes. can come and have like the surgery, plastic surgery mm -hmm. done. So my question to you will be, why is it necessary for the patient to wait, okay. let's say for six months or for a year when it comes to plastic okay. treatment to be yeah. done? Sometimes they're just like all for, you know, ready to have the plastic operations because they wanted the transformation in a really small time. Yeah. But it's actually not really proper to make Make the plastic operations when you're losing weight period is still going on because mm -hmm. we can make the tummy tuck right after for example six months but if you lose weight or just like if you continue to keep diet and your body just reacts this weight loss period more so this means probably your skin gets more sag more sag the operation and also even in the for example pregnancy issues mm -hmm. we just like don't recommend the patients for having tummy tuck surgery before the pregnancy because you're going to your skin gets bigger and that's why you're going to need tummy tuck again or even if you don't need tummy tuck again your skin not going to look like just like a full shaved and contoured body okay so we just like waiting for the end term of this weight loss period when you said yes i'm done i'm not losing of course it can be like one or two or three five kgs but it's not the 15 kgs okay so when you said i'm done I'm, i can't lose way more i just like really have troubles with my skin excess skin so in that time we're just like making the operation okay okay Okay. Got it. So actually, it's just a matter of like having to get in touch with you, for yeah, instance, sure. and then the procedure can start from the moment of like, you know, getting the information regarding yeah, the health sure. issue, previous treatments mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. Yes. Another question, kind of like maybe some patient, they can wonder that, but if sure. a patient has many health issues, mm -hmm. you know, um, comorbidities, like yeah, like for instance, diabetes, you know, mm -hmm. uh, BP, blood pressure, yes. maybe health issues, is it safe for the patient to? to have the operation. Yeah, have the operation. Okay, it just depends actually. Be of course taking care of your blood pressure and kind of comorbidities. But when you wanted to have the aesthetic operations, our surgeons are also taking care of your adult kind of blood. So after making the consultation, she decides what, what is the best for you. Even for example, when making the consultation, I think the yesterday or the day after it. No, not the day before it. Before it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yes, the doctor wants to just the ultrasound of the patient for okay. the abdomen because okay. she thinks maybe she can have the abdomen hernia okay so of course we just like care about the other issues yeah now we're well. making all the you know you look great you look fit but of course we need to take care of the old details so it's just okay. really depends on the person let's say okay and so after plastic surgery does the patient can continue with medication for instance because after the treatment mm -hmm. the patient takes medication right yeah, sure so after that how long like for how long the the patient will take mm -hmm. those medications of course like after the you know because you're taking anesthesia yeah. and you have the pains you have of course stitches around your body mm -hmm. so that's why you have a healing period on mm -hmm. that healing period it's just like it can be up to a month or just like a little more you take medications antibiotics which is prescribed by the surgeon but not for your whole life or just like the bariatric operations for just a really long time the medications are only for the healing period in okay. this as a thick operations okay perfect so what well, on my side that's kind of what i was very really wondering and maybe if you thank want you. to add something <laughs> related to plastic treatment thank our patient you. would be very glad and i believe very very happy to hear yes. and get those information um actually like the weight loss and aesthetic is a really combined things mm -hmm. and of course people are planning to have the aesthetic operations mm -hmm. right after the bariatric yeah. surgery so it's a really normal situation but the important point is your health and yeah. your transformation period yeah so if you wanted to contact with us after the bariatric operations right after you can contact with yeah. and we can just like talk about your procedures like sometimes each patients actually have each expectations mm -hmm. from the surgery yeah true so we can talk about them we can just like give you the examples of the before and after pictures yeah. and sometimes the other patients transformations mm -hmm. so get you learn more about the procedure and then even the uh, when the correct timing is coming so we make the operation so okay yeah we're just like a team yeah exactly it's yeah as you say combined so i just wanted to know something sure. before leaving uh 
would you say a patient must first do a plastic surgery or bariatric surgery first? Sure, bariatric surgery. Contactlessly. Yeah, why. I mean, <laughs> if the patient has, of course, obesity issues and sure. all that, right? So, sure. Okay, so that's like, really what If you're what willing to lose to weight, like if you're willing to lose 25 kgs, yeah. probably you cannot lose that weight with a, you know, I have a one patient before finishing. Uh, she just like has a really huge tummy and she yeah. thinks that like cutting off the tummy will be the solution to mm. lose weight. And I think, no, of course it's not possible. We're all human beings. We have organs inside us, yeah. so we cannot cut and just like make the second skin go away. So okay. first of all, you need to lose weight. And then after, and also I wanted to add one thing. Sometimes the patients are curious about, can't I lose that weight with doing sport? It's just, uh, you know, really depends on the person. But for my suggestions, mm -hmm. if you have too much sagging, like on your tummy area or thigh area or arm area, or just like really sagging breasts, mm -hmm. sometimes the, you know, making sports or making that much hard sports cannot make you, you know, reach the solution. Mm -hmm. Because if you have that much place, mm -hmm. like excess skin, I'm sorry, yeah. on your body, probably you need to get them all from your body. Okay. 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 Sometimes the sports not really working for you. Of course, we just like suggest you to make sports even after the bariatric mm -hmm. surgery and also after the plastic surgery. But for the exact solution and exact fit contoured body, the sports cannot be enough. So that's why we're making plastic operations. As well. Okay. Got you. So, well, the thing is, thank you for all these information and hopefully we will get another session with you sure. where we could talk, have more information related sure. to plastic yeah. treatment. <laughs> so, yeah. So thank you guys, by the way, for watching us. We are very, very glad and happy that you got to kind of like, you know, watching and learning. Yeah. So hopefully you will come back here maybe soon. And also if you do have more questions, you please, ask. yeah, just write them, ask us, reach yes. out to us. And so, yeah, that's that. And thank you, Ada. Thank you so much. And Bye. thank you, Lily. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care of yourself. Bye.